have just a really, I don't know. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a get ready with me video for y'all today on this look right here. I would describe it as foresty, kind of grungy. I like that it got a little bit muddy. That was actually kind of what I was going for. It's just a little bit edgy and not perfect. Just sort of that foresty, I'm just describing too much. You get the idea, sort of a look. So I've got that going on on my eyes. I have a warm cheek and then a neutral lip. So. Yeah, just playing with some makeup, getting ready on camera with you guys. So let's get to it. Okay, so I've already applied some moisturizer. So I'm gonna jump in with some foundation. So I'm gonna use a little combo of the It Cosmetics CC Cream in Light and the YSL All Hours Foundation in Warm Beige. So just gonna mix these and get them on my face. Now I'm gonna apply some eyeshadow primer and my brows. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Brow Powerful in Universal Taupe, and this is the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer. So I'm gonna pop these on, and I'll be right back. So I'm thinking I wanna do kind of like a foresty, earthy sort of a look, but I do wanna tie in some warm tones as well. So I'm gonna start with something like that from the Too Faced Salted Caramel Palette. Get some of this right here, tap off my brush and then kind of lightly apply this into my crease and transition area. I'm barely touching. These are pigmented, so it's kind of hard to go super light-handed with them. But just trying to get a little bit of this in my crease and transition area to begin with. Now I'm gonna take the Rimmel Magnifies Jewel Rocks Edition and get some of this color right here. I think this will kind of help tie in um, sort of warm tones and greens. Like I said, I'm just wanting that kind of earthy sort of look. So I don't know, not really concerned about it getting a little bit weird and muddy in kind of like a funky way. So that's why we're just kind of playing with a lot of different things here. I really like that. You could just go in with that metallic -y shade from that palette and be done and have just a really I don't know. What am I trying to say? <laughs> Mustardy, neutral sort of color. I think it'd be fun. Okay, now I am going to, let me find a brush. This is the Ofra Signature Palette in Empowered. I'm gonna get this green color on a Morphe M507 brush. And I'm gonna put this in the outer corner and bring this kind of two thirds of the way over onto my lid. And now I'm gonna take some of this shade right here, this kind of metallic-y, mossy green color, and apply this on the inner third of my lid. I'm starting with it dry, like not applying it with some setting spray to begin with, just kind of seeing what it looks like. You know, normally I would go in, I'm just gonna do some blending with this Morphe M507. Normally I would go in and use it with a setting spray, but I kind of like it a little bit softer like that. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. I like it. I'm gonna apply some of the cream shade from this Salted Caramel palette. It is this one right here. And I'm gonna put this on my brow bone. Kind of softly blend this along the edges so apply the highlighter, but also kind of soften the outer edges of that blend. Now for some liner and mascara, I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Eye Care Waterproof Eyeliner in Evergreen. This is a really pretty green. Um, and then I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Superhero. So I'm gonna apply these to my upper lash line and upper lashes, and I'll be back. What a difference mascara makes, huh? Okay, now for some concealer, I'm gonna start with the Brightener, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the Brightener shade. And I'm just gonna tap some of this. I just kinda of do this. And I'm gonna tap some of it underneath my eyes just for brightening. And then I'm gonna use some of the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer in Classic Beige. And just kinda get some of this on my finger. 
and just tap this underneath my eyes and then also by my nose. For powder for my T-zone, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder in Butter. And I'm going to use just the least amount possible. First, I need to find a spot to set it. Oh my goodness. There, there's makeup everywhere. <laughs> it's a disaster around here. Okay, gonna get some of this and a little sponge on an e.l.f. small tapered brush and just tap this under my eyes and in my T-zone. Then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with the MAC. Um, what is this? There's lipstick all over it. Where'd that come from? I'm like a detective here and I have no clue. So I'm just going to wipe that off before I get red lipstick all over the place. Hmm. Who knows where that was from? Don't know. There's a, <laughs> there's an escaped red lipstick somewhere wreaking havoc on the rest of my makeup. Okay, so the MAC Studio Fix powder in NC25. Gonna get some of that and put this on the rest of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. So for my under eyes, I'm gonna start with this one, this mossy green on a Sedona Lace EV21 brush and just run this along my lower lash line. And I'm gonna tap in between these two to get kind of like a grungy green, like a muddy sort of color and just put this on the outer corners. Then I'm gonna finish off my eyes with some CoverGirl Clump Crusher on my lower lashes. So now for blush bronzer situation, I'm gonna use the Milani Baked Powder Blush in Coco Felicita. This is one of their newer shades. Clearly, this is a very dark color for my skin tone. So I am going to tap my brush twice, I think, and then kind of tap it on the back of my hand and then buff this into the hollows of my cheeks and kind of tap this up, bring it up, just kind of buffing. And then I'm also gonna bring this into, into, onto my forehead and just kind of use it as a bronzer too. And then for funsies, I wanna play with the other color too. This is Sunrise Serenita. And I'm going to tap with an angled brush. The other brush I was using, that was a Chic Blush Brush from IT Cosmetics. And this is an angled brush from MAC. So I just tapped into that. I'm going to kind of buff it on the back of my hand. And I am barely touching. Just want a little bit of that kind of warmth. And it's very kind of orangey. So just getting a, a little wash of it on my cheeks. And this is one of my makeup tricks that I do. Um, I know that y'all have seen me do this in other Get Ready With Me's, but I just kind of look at the makeup situation, especially my blush and bronzer, and I'll usually take my face powder brush and just kind of buff along the sides and like edges, and it helps to soften that and blend. And then I'll usually take a concealer brush and kind of go on the outsides of my eyes and clean up any areas there if the blending looks a little bit goofy. I'm barely touching. It's just to kind of blend that, soften any harsh lines. Just sort of helps to finish off the look. Started to use a different lip color, didn't like it, so I wiped it off. It was a little bit too cool toned. I tried Revlon um, Rose Velvet, which I love that color, but it was just too purpley. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do this combo, so let's see if this works. The Rimmel Lip Liner in Epic, and the Milani lipstick in Bahama Beige. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. So I hope that y'all really enjoy getting ready with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And let me know down below, what kind of looks have you been enjoying doing lately? What kind of colors do you reach for? Do you like greens? Do you like burgundies? Do you like, I don't know, warm shades? Let me know that down below.
ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video.